hell is this? Is this game from 1992? No, it is from 2014. You know what, the most accurate description for this game I could come up with is that it's those little disgusting pieces of corn left over in the diarrhea that Time Crisis 2 took after an all-night Taco Bell binge. Yeah, let that colorful image sink into your brain and be thankful that you didn't actually have to play it. Rambo the video game has no reason to exist. None whatsoever. It's bad enough when these sorts of games go through the motions poorly to earn a quick buck on a recently released movie, but it is downright insanity that must have drove Reef Entertainment to acquire the license, dragging it up from retirement just to murder the franchise, then parade its corpse around like a fucking puppet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> No, seriously, that's what this entire game reminds you of with its shit graphics and awful character models, of which Rambo himself is probably the worst looking. Always glistening with too much sweat, just ripped with awkward muscle placement all over his body. This looks creepy as hell. And for some reason, he has sausage links for arms. Get your paws over your head and turn around, son. <laughs> the hard way is fine with me. So what kind of game are we treated to here? An open world jungle? Nope. A third person Gears of War clone? Nope. A generic lazy as hell first person shooter? Fuck no! For $40 on PC and console, how dare you expect such an effort? Instead, the entire game is an on-rails arcade shooting gallery. with, you guessed it, innovative QTE sequences. game is lying to you. It completely misrepresents the type of gameplay here. A clever and disgusting ruse to hide the game's true self. The game's story takes you through the first three Rambo films. Poorly rendered and putrid cutscenes attempt to replicate the important action sequences from the movies in between the shooting galleries but it is executed with the skill of a first year intern that it likely would have been better to just straight up use actual footage from the movies instead of this. Rambo! Rambo, don't do it. Listen to me, Rambo. You have no chance. The building's perimeter is covered. No exits. There are nearly 200 men out there and a lot of M16s. This mission is over, Rambo. Do you understand me? This mission is over! A seemingly good option since every single word of spoken dialogue is ripped straight from that intern's DVD copy of the movie. I suppose because when Stallone was asked to return to voice Rambo in this shit excuse for a game, he said this. <laughs>
entire game, you don't ever control or move your character. He moves himself from cover to cover, occasionally standing out in the open in true idiotic fashion. I say idiotic because you often run out of ammo after the countless waves of enemies which leaves you completely vulnerable standing open in those sections, getting riddled with bullets! wanted to have sequences where you stand out in the open, Rambo style, they needed to tie it in with the Wrath system and give you unlimited ammo. Instead, activating the Wrath here will put you into slow-mo and refill your health for every kill you make while Rambo screams like he stubbed his freaking toe. Oh, and you're gonna need to use this system, indefinitely, to recover your health after the sections where you took too much damage from standing out in the open against enemies with pixel-perfect laser accuracy. Nothing at all like the enemies in the movies which couldn't hit the broad side of a fucking barn! The auto-aim on consoles often snaps to enemies, screwing up your free aim and headshots. Turn it off immediately. No, no, in fact, don't ever buy the game to turn it anything. Instead, just, just listen to me talk about it, okay? Before each level, you're free to pick Rambo's primary and secondary weapons, as well as some perks and abilities. And unsurprisingly, none of this shit matters! The guns all feel the same. A pea shooter with no impact, no satisfying visual feedback. The only difference is that some guns have more ammo than others. Guess which ones are better? Perks? Perks are laughably pointless in such a simplistic rail shooter. And the toughness and wrath? Those are the only two skill lines worth taking, making the whole thing futile. There is no innovation to the rail shooter, no attempts at anything new. In fact, the best that they could come up with, <laughs> get this, is this little ammo reload minigame, which increases your clip size by two if you hit the sweet spot perfectly for some ungodly reason it magically makes your clip longer. And even that mechanic is made worthless in-game when you can stay behind cover indefinitely and just wait until you reload with a perfect rating! So stupid! They break up these waves of bullets and explosions with stealth sections. And I'm using quotations because this is what someone with brain damage thinks counts as stealth. quick time event. <laughs> but in case that part of the game is too difficult for you, Rambo can equip a perk that automatically succeeds at every QTE. What the fuck? It's as if the developers knew the QTEs were shit and no one would want to do them, so they included that option instead of developing, I don't know, something completely different, like actual stealth. 
However, don't use that option, as the QTEs are really your only source of entertainment and insanity relief in this shit game. They let you see all the hilarious ways Rambo could have died in the movies if he fucked it up. It's over! Hey, do you guys remember that part in Rambo First Blood where Rambo kills 137 cops? <laughs> With either his machine guns or by brutally stabbing them in the throats? Yeah, me neither. Considering he only inadvertently killed one cop who was a complete asshole who fell from a helicopter, it was his fault, and then another who pretty much started the whole thing. And possibly these guys on the side of the road. game, the body count can rise to ridiculous levels with simply a tiny score penalty and a little floating text message that says, cop killer. Oh no! You're supposed to shoot their legs or their guns out of their hands, which is impossible with a stupid auto aim on, not counting there being zero meaningful incentives to do that. God, what else sucks in this game besides, I don't know, everything? Uh, oh, the same musical flourish from the soundtrack over and over and over and over. Over, Johnny. And over, and over. This is not how you do your music cheaply, guys. Every time you complete a mission, by the way, Rambo says... Mission accomplished. And every time you die, the Colonel says... John! Every time. John! 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 That's what the game says every fucking time you die. I've been listening to that for like six hours. John! John! This game is so cheap, it can't even afford to use voice actors. Thankfully, you won't hear that death screen often because the game is ridiculous. Ridiculously easy. You get five tries every level, but you won't need any of them until, of course, the last mission. I am so sick of poorly programmed games like these that think throwing everything at you in the kitchen sink it at once in an unfair way equals difficulty and challenge. No, it's the mark of a bad game. Boss type enemies showing up two or three at a time, often with other boss type enemies backing them up. You'll have two heavy machine gunners with two 50 caliber machine gun trucks, a grenader, two commanders, a flamethrower, and a ton of grunts, all in a single section, firing non stop. No! It's over. No! No! Meaning you have to play a stupid game of whack-a-mole with yourself, picking your head up and around the cover, you know, for a millisecond, while shooting your gun, which often goes through the rocks. Fuck this fucking game. 
fucking minutes, stupid fucking mouth. I don't remember that part in Rambo. And even if you somehow get past one of these sections, it throws even more at you in the next section. After you've used all your grenades. Oh, come on. Go! No! It's over! Or how about just Fuck all that, and just let the player get past your stupid bullshit, but then crash the game with bugs just before he wins! What the fuck? Fuck! The game just fucking crashed. That's another thing I have to deal with. The game will randomly crash! Shit! The fucking game crashed again! This is a game that should be bought by absolutely no one. The amount of consideration you have for buying this should equal the amount of effort that went into making it a good game, which is none, none. For anyone who has played it, it's like, it's like remembering being slowly tortured, death by crappy licensed cash-in. And, and true to the series, the developers got one thing right, I'm sure inadvertently. Playing it manages to give you some post-traumatic stress disorder just like the real John Rambo. No! 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 How long is this shit anyway? FOUR HOURS! FOUR FUCKING HOURS! And that's with me dying over and over on the last level! How long was it for others? Hours and 14 minutes? For 40 dollars? A rail shooter for two hours is 40 dollars. Fuck Rambo the video game. The final verdict is a 2 out of 10. It only escapes being worse because it made me laugh at how bad it was sometimes. Now whether that was good for my health or not is something that I question. Rambo, the video game! Rambo! 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 I'm losing it. Are we stuck in slow-mo? I think we're stuck in slow-mo. It's another bug, guys. 
look at all of the ratings outlets give this game. If it's a fraction higher than three, uh, if they're super nostalgic maybe, then they're babbling morons and should be forced to play the game over and over until they assign it the rating it deserves. It's not an average game, it's a piece of shit. Stop making these types of lazy cash-ins on licenses we like. He's a man, not a god! Come on, comrade! He's a man, not a god! Come on, comrade! He's a man, not a god! He's a man, not a god! He's a man, not a god! You know what? If this didn't have the Rambo name plastered all over it, it wouldn't even hit the bargain bin at release. It wouldn't even hit the trash bin! It would miss it, fall on the floor, and then just get stepped on over and over by people walking by, and then picked up with dog's teeth, slobbering rabid dogs, who then bury it and shit on it! Now you see the truth. They talk of the honor in war. There is no honor here. Stop being so damn forgiving to this shit! Stop it! No! Stop this type of... Bullshit! Fucking licensed video games. What a way to start 2014 for angry reviews. And I've got another licensed video game coming up right after this. Fucking shit, it better not be. I'm about to... 2014's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Rambo's trash. <laughs> Joe, they see your face up there. Oh.